Hello kings and queens and welcome back to my channel Glam Queen DIY. I'm Tammy and I hope you are having an amazing and blessed day. This is your Glam Queen and today, today, today I'm coming to you with three amazing, glamorous, quick and easy DIY room decor mirrored crushed diamond epoxy and crystal rhinestone blue and white DIY vases so you guys if you want to see how I put all of this together make sure you keep watching Here's my new channel banner, so make sure you become part of the family. You guys, we're starting with this blue and white ginger jar, and I'm just going to totally jazz this thing up. I'm using my crystal rhinestone and my mirror mosaic towel along with my scissors. Now you guys, portion of this video is actually sponsored by bbcraft.com I'm going to link all the bbcraft information down in the description I did get this crystal rhinestone self adhesive sheets from bbcraft along with those uh, mosaic mirror tiles as well so as you can see here I am just cutting my crystal diamond sheets and you guys I always cut the edge and all so I don't have a jabbed edges. I like perfectly straight edges. But I'm just going to cut some pieces. Because we are going to align the blue in this vase here, you guys. We're going to align all of that blue with the rhinestones. And it is my intentions. Well, it was my intentions to actually bring that mirror and add a few pieces of the mirrors inside of some of that blue throughout. So as you can see here, I'm just lining it up, you guys. And I will tell you, this was a kind of a tedious project to do, but the end result was worth it. And I will tell you, still was a very simple, quick and easy DIY. It just that it took more preparation and time to align all of these lines. Because as you can see, this base does have a chevron look to it. But we're going to do what the Glam Queen does. And that's jazz up everything if it is already not. So you guys, just follow me along as we turn this drab vase into a fabulous, spectacular vase. Do make sure you catch our other channel. I'm going to drop the link somewhere on the screen. Her home is, that's idea. I'm sorry, our home decor channel. And you will see where this will be styled coming very soon. Now I'm just going to continue to add my pieces and you guys I wish you could see how this piece is coming to life but continue just to follow me along and I'm going to just come in here and out throughout the video so I can give you the different steps that I did take to create uh, to transform you guys this ginger jar. And if this is your first time here on Glam Queen DIY, welcome, welcome, welcome. Now here on Glam Queen DIY, we do an overload of glamorous high-end DIY room decors, 
DIY home decor ideas. We do a little bit of hacks and tips. We show you in our tutorials as well. We also do a little bit of renovations. So, if you like anything from to do it yourself form, this is the channel for you. Make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button. Tap the bell twice, it turns blue, and you'll know every time that we are uploading. We also are going to be bringing a series to the channel called Prep It Up. You hear me right? Prep It Up. And in that series, it's going to be still DIY style on getting you prepared for anything that life throws at you. So, make sure you stay on the lookout for Prep It Up. And I also want to thank my oldest but goodies my faithful ride or die that's been rocking with your girl for a while i have been seeing y'all back in the comments i have even received a message thank you guys so very much continue to help boost the channel because with the channel cleanup i actually got rid of i just didn't put the videos on private i deleted all of the trash out off of the channel you guys so i can make the channel more proficient because you're going to see you guys within the next 30 days the true direction that the channel is going and uh, you're going to be able to follow that direction along and i do hope that you love it i do know it's going to bring a lot of useful information to you that will be coming as well so thank you guys for that and continue to show the channel love and support because i do see the effects my subscriber count did jump 200 subscribers you guys in a matter of a three hour period so thank you thank you thank you now let's jump right back into this diy Now, this is what that vase is looking like thus far. I'm telling you guys, isn't that gorgeous? But, we're going to just continue it along. I'm letting you see I got a lot more to go. And I'm just going to replicate what I've done throughout the whole entire vase. I did shift the angle of the camera. So, let's continue this transformation DIY process. And to you guys, I'm going to show you a quick little hack. As you can see here with the chevron design, you, I tried to cover the bases of the bottom first, but I'm just taking that crystal rhinestone single cut bling, and I'm just layering the starting point on all the way up, you guys. And as you can see, I'm going to lay about 10 pieces on, tracing out that blue. I'm going to layer them all on so it can make this project run by so so much faster you will save yourself a lot of time by creating simple little hacks like this one that you see me doing when you are doing your very own do-it-yourself projects and once again a section of this video is sponsored by bbcraft.com i did list all of bbcraft's information down in that description if you are a content creator uh, and you would like to partner with BB Craft, all you need is 100 followers, you guys, and you can partner with BB Craft. That information also is in that description. So, you guys, consider checking out BB Craft as a featured partner for your channel, but also make sure if you do diys and you like that glam high-end look make sure you click that link in my description and use that discount code you guys for an amazing discount so let's continue to elevate this piece And all I'm doing now is I'm cutting a piece and it allows me to quickly layer the pieces on the vase 
to get to certain points throughout the whole entire vase. Make sure you guys are still watching. Make sure you stay to the very end as well because I will be showing you clips at the end and plus I'm throwing in a couple more bonus clips in the videos for you guys to check out as well. And this is what my vase is looking like thus far. You guys, we finna finish wrapping up this DIY number one because we got two more. And I mean, two more spectacular, spectacular DIYs coming. But we're going to quickly wrap this up. And you guys, all I'm doing is I'm repeating what I've done earlier. I'm just continually to line up that blue chevron print on this on these ginger jars you got to drop me a comment you guys if you know any place where I can get some spectacular ginger jars from let your girl know I am going to be also bringing you some new pieces from new places you guys that I did find so I'm going to be bringing you some new pieces from those places you guys and for the most part those pieces are pieces that's already finished but you know your girl I'm just going to tweak my just a tad bit not all of the pieces but make sure you stay tuned if you're on the lookout for some amazing home decor and something new and fresh as well your girl got you make sure you keep watching And we're still at it. <laughs> we're still at it, you guys. But we are near the end of this piece. And I know the vision of this piece is coming through on camera. I know it is, you guys. Make sure you do catch the styling of this vase at the very end. There it go. Look at that, you guys. And we're going to do something different around that top. I'm letting you see that here. But we're finna finish the transformation of DIY number one. Now, drop me a comment if you do have pieces in your home that you would consider doing this to as well. You know, and like I say, you guys, take the pieces you have because we are in the middle of a transition as well here on the Glam Queen DIY. So in the middle of this transition, because I told you we're going to have some amazing, amazing, amazing content coming your way very, very soon. But in the process of our transformation, 
all we're doing is taking everything in the home we're revamping it we're doing some cleaning out and getting rid of stuff and you're going to see a couple little more things coming as well that we did do here at our humble home our humble abode here in the palace that we did make some changes on as well but make sure you stay tuned for all of that you guys and this is that completed look of that ginger jar you guys this piece is gorgeous now please don't forget if you're not a part of glam queen diy make sure you hit that subscribe button we're on the road to that 50k now you guys this is diy two and three now you see these blue vases they're actually a crackle glass vase i'm still going to be using that same crushed diamond epoxy self-adhesive sheets from bb craft as well and I'm using this crystal rhinestone trim. And you guys, this trim did come from Timu. If you miss my Timu hauls, I'm going to drop them down in the description. Make sure you also be on the lookout. I do have another Timu, Timu haul video for home decor accessories for all of you home decor lovers. But we're just going to jazz this vase on up, you guys, with this vase because the vase is gorgeous by itself because i'm extra i'm extra guys i'm extra <laughs> i wanted to take the vase up a notch for the space and how i am using it in the space that i'm styling it. so we're just trimming out the bottom of this face and i will tell you this was going to be a simple cut and cut and dry uh diy but if you follow me for a while, you do know I will evolve a piece in the process of the decoration. And that's what happened to this face here. So, just make sure you keep on following me along to complete out this face. Now, I do have that crystal rhinestone trim on the bottom. And I was adding that epoxy, uh, crushed diamond epoxy sheet to the top. And you guys, I was going to just kind of wrap it up there, but you got to see where this piece, how it completely ended up because it transformed right before my eyes. So we're just cutting that off and continue to follow your girl along. Now that we've cleaned up that top portion, I always make sure I take out the excess. I'm still taking that crystal rhinestone sheet, and this piece did come back from BB Craft, and I'm lining the top of the vase, you guys. Like I said earlier, this was supposed to be simple, cut, and dry, but keep following us along. And here was my finished DIY and as you can see I'm wrapping it up and you guys like I say this piece still was gorgeous 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 and I thought I was finished but as I turned I saw one of my total dazzle brooches and it made me totally shift so I'm adding in this final strip as you see I done here and I'm going to add that crystal rhinestone from the base of the vase up back up to the neck and I'm going to place a gorgeous gorgeous quarter gorgeous totally dazzled brooch on the vase as well do make sure if you like total dazzle pieces I do got my link down there for for them as well make sure you click on my affiliate links it never causes you anything to click on my links I just receive a small commission from my links if you happen to buy something but we're just adding the hot glue you guys and like I say at this point here I am almost fully fully finished with all three of these DIY projects but you guys this thing is gorgeous and I'm just looking to make sure my brooches look the same and as you can see here I did have to slide that brooch up some but overall you guys both of my 
vases here turned out spectacular. And I'm just reinforcing my brooch here, you guys, and cleaning up those glue strands as well. I will tell you, useful tip, if you had a heat gun, it makes those glue webs disappear so very quickly but these are my finished pieces please don't forget to subscribe to glam queen diy and you guys this is what those completed pieces look like and i'm telling you they are gorgeous and all of the details on this piece here you guys i am loving it loving it loving it now i will tell you it did take me a total of like an hour and 20 minutes to do all of that on that vase and these took about about 35 45 minutes for the boat but i'm telling you guys these are gorgeous do make sure you go over and check out sunday it should be for her home her home is you will see these pieces styled in the new space um for my home decor channel you guys so do make sure you go over and check it out and if it doesn't appear sunday i think the schedule is set for sunday if it's not sunday it will definitely be monday but you'll get all of that information coming for that channel as well now you guys and i am going to bring you a different outro as well but for this video you guys if you've been rocking with your girl for a while you know i can't close out without letting you know to always 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 be positive so you can remain productive and stay positioned to make your next move your best move i'll see you guys in another upcoming video bye everyone stay blessed and always stay positive. I truly hope you guys have been positioning yourself. Not only for your next move, but for the move of others as well. I'll see you guys very soon.